Hello, what do you mean? Good evening. How are you, Victor? Uh, How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Are you tired? Ah. Tired? Like. No, estoy, no. estoy perdido. <laughs> estoy perdido. Todavía me está reaccionando el coco, Pena. Okay. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Did you work on the platform? Yes, ya completé la sección 3. Excellent. Y remember for this week, you have to complete section 4, and the 50% of the section five. So you have to run. And today we're going to start section four. Habíamos visto el vocabulary con ustedes de la food pyramid. Dijo que ahora le vamos a continuar, si no me equivoco. Lo iniciamos. Yes. Yes, ok. Good. Aquí we have the food pyramid, the classification, and um, a conversation. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, Henry. Ya estamos por aquí. Excellent. Yes, I'm going to wait a few minutes because most of your classmates are missing. And then I have to read again the list. So I'm going to wait like two minutes. Okay, so let's finish the food pyramid. Then, well, we are going to start with the bottom. Okay, the bottom of the pyramid are the full that you can eat most, okay? For example, you can have more portions of grains like bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, and pasta. Uh, beans, entraría, ah, no, los beans están en proteins. Um, Tortillas could be included in this, in this category of grains. And then we have fruit in general, okay? Bananas, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, apples. And then we have the vegetables, broccoli, carrots, Lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes. Then we have the meat and other protein, fish, beans, chicken, beef, nuts, and eggs. The dairy products, milk, obviously, cheese, yogurt, and the fat, oil, and sugar 
si these are the things that, that you uh, have to eat less. Okay, only a few amount. Cream, butter, candy, oil, and potato chips or chips in general. Hello, Veronica. Okay. Questions about pronunciation or meaning? No? August? Okay. Then we have the conversation. Did we practice the conversation? Practicamos la conversación? No. No, right. Okay. Adriana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Ana Mercedes. Claribel Esmeralda. Daniel Oswaldo. Dora Stephanie. Eloisa Abigail. Present. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth. Henry Oswaldo. Hello. Okay. Jacqueline Beatriz. Ya le iba a poner a usted. Jacqueline? No. Ah, ahí está. Ya. Yeah. Jonathan Humberto. José Ángel. Ok. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Kimberly Natalie. Present. Excellent. Lorena Araceli. Present. Great. Lourdes Paola. Mario Antonio. Marvin Alberto. Romeo Antonio. Present. Okay. Ruth del Carmen. Present. Excellent. Veronica Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. Excellent. Xiomara Judith. Present. Excellent. And Catherine Aviles. Present. Excellent. Okay, let's listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice. Thank you.
Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is the concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Ya habíamos practicado es esta conversation. No. No. Okay. How about some sandwiches? Okay. Volunteers? Volunteer. Excellent. One more? Victor? Mm -hmm. A decir, Liva. Vaya, está bien. Le leí la mente. Uh, okay. What do you want for the picnic? And how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. So, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure, sure. And um, refrigerator, refrigerator. And then bread, bread. Okay, two more volunteers. Come on. Yeah. Excellent, Catherine. And? Yeah. Okay, Lorena. Start, Lorena. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have anything? No, we, we need some. All oh, right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, thank you. And now Henry. Henry and Jose Angel. Okay. What do you want, do you for, want? The for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some uh, chicken in the ref ref refrigerator. 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 But uh, we don't have a bread. 
And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. Oh, right. Let's, let's get uh, some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Yeah. Wait, la vas a adelante. Ever like potato salad? Everyone. Ah, everyone. Likes. Every everyone likes potato salad. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Good. Pronunciation questions? No. Lemonade. Sandwiches. Sandwich is only one, but sandwiches are more than one. Por lo general en las preguntas siempre utilizamos la forma plural de las palabras. Ok. Okay, Marvin. Muy bien, then we have some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Okay, here we have countable nouns. Creo que vimos una pequeña introducción eh, de cómo diferenciar los countable de los non-countable. In general, a countable noun can be counted fácilmente, easily, because you have pieces, okay, apples, school, picture, um, okay, things that can be counted. And obviously the uncountable nouns cannot be counted, like sugar, information, water, and uh, understanding. Sugar, because it's too small. So you are not going to count every little drop of sugar that you put into your coffee. So you you say, or you need to measure that sugar. Okay, for example, one spoon. Okay, one spoon. Ahí sí, sería contable pero porque estamos utilizando un contenedor, a container o una forma para medirlo. Que okay, water, because it's liquid, como es algo líquido, ok, también necesitamos un container, a glass of water, a jar of water, uh, two glasses of water. Que okay, en el caso de cuando utilizamos los containers o las eh, como la, la, la forma de, de decir cantidades que ahí sí you can count the container que eso sería para cosas que son líquidas para cosas que son muy pequeñas para contar you measure that thing And information and understanding are uh, intangible things. Cosas intangibles. Information, okay, you cannot count, you cannot see um, how much information. 
So it's uncountable. Igual de understanding. Que okay? eso pasa inside of your mind or in other people's um, minds. But you cannot go inside and count how many understanding they have. So there uh, is uncountable. uncountable. Okay, then uh, lo otro como más obvio y más fácil para identificarlos o diferenciarlos es que para los countable nouns eh, tiene singular y tiene plural. Y ahí tenemos algunos ejemplos. Okay, there is a book on the table. Pero si, solo, si no solo fuera uno, ok, we can say eh, there are three books on the table or there are eh, four books under the table. Ok. These houses are very big. Aren't they? Y eso sería como another example. Okay, about houses. Houses. You can count houses. For example, I have two houses. One in the city and one in the beach. An example. It's not true for me. Okay. And para los uncountable nouns, They are they will be always singular. Okay, todos van a tener solamente forma singular y no van a tener plural. Ahí entrarían algunas excepciones, were exceptions, like um let's see fish. Okay, fish. I can say I eat one fish. Pero también puedo decir I get some fish. Entonces yo no voy a agregar ni la IS ni la S, sino que es irregular. Entonces tenemos some of them that are irregular verbs. Ahí no aplicaría la forma de plural. Como mm, woman Wonder Woman, only one. In the plural, eh, we cannot say woman's, okay? Sino que decimos women, women. Y esa sería otra de las excepciones, or examples. Luego vamos con go with a and then my in the singular. Okay, she bought an umbrella. Pero dice que normally, okay, for the uncountable nouns, no podemos utilizar a, an, to, okay, etc. Only some. Es así, se puede utilizar tanto en countable como en non-countable. And um, Ahí está la siguiente que sería Can be used alone with some, any, many, few, in plural. Okay, cuando vamos a decir una forma plural y estos son incontables, pero eh, están utilizando un container, okay, entonces ahí sí, eh, you can use any, many, a few, some. Eh, uy. cuando estén en un container or let's see well um, the last one can use a an one two with coffee okay with coffee coffee tea when We talk about a cup, glass, or bottle. Es lo que le decía de los containers. Okay, eso sería para los countable and non-countable in general. En general. And, yes? 
Here we have some examples. Do we have questions? No questions? No question. Okay. So let's see the examples. For comfortable, we have a bun or cupcake, a sandwich or, yes, sandwich, apple, orange, burger, fries, eggs, salad, vegetables, cookies, Potatoes, tomato, carrot, hot dog, candies, olives, peanut, pancakes, watermelon, pea, grapes, and cherries. Okay, there are countable. Easily, you can see, you can touch and you can count. But the uncountable things, we have bread. Que en El Salvador decimos, me comí cuatro panes, en plural, cuatro panes francés. But in English, you cannot use it in that way. So if you, uh, okay, you can say, I eat two, Slice of bread or portions, okay, del bread. Or you can say some, I eat some bread without give an, a specific amount or an, a specific number, only in general, some, okay, because you can use it in both, countable and uncountable. Then we have fruit, juice, meat, Okay, again, liquids, okay, liquids. Mm, rice, cereal, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour, um, salt, soup, tea, cottage, cheese, pasta, honey, uh, water, cheese, butter, Seafood and most, eh, mustard. Aquí entraría también eh, mayonesa, ketchup, que también son dressers, aderezos. Yes? Yes. Thank you. What else? Let's make some examples. Hagamos algunos ejemplos. Yo me hubiera confundido en el de los peanuts porque pareciera como un contable. Yes. Eso estábamos hablando con, con el otro grupo que, por ejemplo, igual con las french fries. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because you do not count every French fry that you eat. No nos ponemos a contar uh -huh. cada una, ¿verdad? Sino que la usamos como, como un todo, o sea, como un todo. The box, for example, the box uh -huh. of French fries. Okay, ese, eh, también lo de los peanuts because they are too small and you eat a lot of peanuts in one minute and you don't count don't, 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 don't count how how peanuts did you eat or the peas the peas tampoco nos ponemos a contar cuántos van en el arroz o en el tamal okay? pero ese yo les explicaba igual las grapes Casi, mm -hmm. casi nunca que, que contamos, okay? But 
uh, the point, they are countable because they have a plural form. Entonces, esa es como, como la base de por qué se toman mm -hmm. como contables. Mm -hmm. Pero digamos que en la forma práctica, you are not going to say, I eat 10 grapes daily. Mm -hmm. Because it's not true. So you say, I eat some grapes daily. Entonces lo usamos como de una forma general. Some. Some. Mm -hmm. Some grapes. And uh, rarely, raras veces vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, I eat one grape because, a menos que solo for taste. Mm -hmm. okay, or one peanut. It's like you cannot only one eat one porque da como ganas de comer más like the peanut okay so in general because they have plural form they are countable but mm -hmm. in the pract in the practical way you can use some not a specific amount sino que in general some Mm -hmm. Some grapes, some peanuts, or también incluso podríamos poner un contenedor para los peanuts. Si se fijan, ahí están en una bag. So I eat a bag of peanuts eh, weekly, or los que, vienen, los que venden en, en el Walmart o en el Price Mart, que son como los botecitos a boro, aunque no se come uno de, de un sola sentada, but a bottle of peanuts. Mm -hmm. Entonces, podríamos usarlo también de esa manera. Y para los uncountable, que hay cosas que son bien difíciles, como el sugar, the flour, the rice, the pasta, It, it's very difficult to, to count. Ahí sería uncountable. Mm, y los liquids, ¿verdad? Los liquids. Milk, water, juice, um, chocolate, hot chocolate, or hot cocoa, soda, um, Tea, bueno, ya está ahí, creo. Tea, iced tea, iced tea también. Okay, que sería como los uncountables. Okay, recuerden que son es como el comodín. You can use it with countable and non-countable. Ok. Luego aquí nos aparece any, que también es un quantifier, que nos va a decir específicamente qué cantidad de eso. Pero eso lo vamos a utilizar only in questions and in negative sentences. Que okay, solamente en, en esos dos vamos a utilizar any. Ok. So we have the question, do we need any eggs? Okay, a question. Entonces ahí utilizamos any. Eso sería para, igual para los dos. Para countable, que serían los eggs, countable, and non-countable, que sería bread. Okay, do we need any bread? Do we need any eggs? Y the answers, ¿verdad? Yes, let's get some. Or no, we don't need any eggs. Entonces, para respuestas negativas y para preguntas, you have to use any. Okay, vamos a utilizar any. Do we need any bread? Yes, 
let's get some bread. Or no, we don't need any bread. Y luego tenemos, eh, bueno, ya habíamos visto que vamos a usar con los count or countable nouns, an or a. ¿Ok? Sí, solamente serían one, ¿verdad? An egg, a sandwich, only one. Pero ya si yo digo three eggs. Ya no puedo utilizar an ni eh, four sandwiches. Tampoco ahí. Ya no podemos utilizar a. Y. Ok, tenemos también for specific and for general. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. Y estamos siendo específicos con la comida, the food. But when we talk about in general terms, okay, eggs are good for you. Okay, en sí como el, el concepto, okay, eggs or bread, it's bad for your health, for example. Okay, sweet bread, it's bad for you. Okay, entonces lo podemos utilizar de las dos formas, pero si lo vamos a usar de forma específica, hay que poner a o an or a quantifier or a number. Un número también, ¿verdad? No me sirve como un quantificador, a quantifier. Then we have the example. Questions. No. No question. Clear. Por el momento, claro. Ok. So let's make some examples. Mm. Teacher, eh, yes. ¿cómo se puede pronunciar así como dijo la compañera? Todo claro en inglés. All clear. All clear. All clear. All. Clear. All. All. Como los all star. All clear. Sí. All clear. All. Ah, all. All. Uh -huh. Bring your down. All clear. Okay. Excellent. Veamos other exercise. No se vale. Wait. You have to tell me the answers. I'm going to open it again. Um, here.
Complete with some or any. Okay, it's it's very easy. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. 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 Okay, do we have some? Any. Any, because is a question. Yes. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy any. Hmm? Some. Some? Yes. Some. Because it's not a question and it's not in negative. Okay, el no va, pero con la respuesta de la pregunta. We need to buy some. We need some, some, some onions too. I don't want any, any, any aquí, sí, aquí sería negative. I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Okay. Next. Some. Then. Some. 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 Okay, let's. Then let's get some celery. Okay, what is the meaning of celery? Apio. Yes. Do you like celery? Do you like it? I like. I like. I don't like it. I don't like it either. <laughs> yes. Um, no, I don't want any any, any set, please, in my potato salad. But let's put some. some some apples um, in it. Mm -hmm. Apples in a potato salad? If that sounds awful, como rear. Okay, apples in a potato salad? It's a different salad. Okay. For Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Only for Christmas. And then we have a dream. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods. In what do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee, jam, jelly, Japan, fish, huh. rice, soup, pickles, green oh. tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, <laughs> fresh fruit. Sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now is your...
Okay. Now let's practice the conversation. For example, okay, volunteers, fish for breakfast. Me, teacher. Okay. One more. Yes. Yes, ready. Okay, go. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Can you add a siguiente? Okay, come to my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we had a salad too, and we always had green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, yes. Thank you. Two more volunteers, please. Yeah. Hi. Here you go, Mercedes. One more. Ooh. Thank you, Angel. Let's have, break. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house, my family. I was has a Japanese skill. Breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and so. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Sorry. Okay, excellent. Do you have questions about this conversation? Pronunciation, meaning? Pronunciation, the Japanese. Japanese, I think. Sí. Japanese style, yes. Japanese style breakfast. Okay. Japanese style. 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 Yes. Okay. Ah, luego teníamos lo de what do you have? ¿Verdad? Hagamos una práctica con, con esa parte. Antes. Okay, what do you have for breakfast? Okay, vamos. Here you are going to give me examples of your real life. About what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, for example, in my case, I usually have a Scrambled eggs. Well, I like scrambled eggs and my husband likes uh, fried eggs. So I have to prepare the two types. Uh, but eggs in general, uh, beans, bread, and coffee with milk. Okay, that's for me. What about you? Give me some examples.
Hello. In my case, I usually have for breakfast a pancake sometimes a, with coffee all the time, a, beans, a, and eggs, and sweet bread. Sweet bread, yes. Okay. So, but when you eat pancakes, Do you eat the pancakes and the eggs and beans or only the pancakes? No, no. different days. Sometimes different days. only uh, pancakes with coffee and other days different eggs and food. beans. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, one more. I usually have for breakfast um, beans, <laughs> cheese, eggs, and milk. Beans, cheese, Para eggs, beans, uh, cheese, eggs, and bread and milk. Bread. Okay, bread. For bread, we have two types, the white bread and the whole grain bread. Which one? High bread. White, white bread. Okay. Mm, the last, the last volunteer. What do you have for breakfast? Henry, what do you usually have for breakfast? Pupusas. Yeah, it's usually breakfast. Yes, tamales, no? Yes. Okay. Who drink a different thing than coffee? Who doesn't eat coffee in the morning? Tell me. It will be my hero. Everyone needs a cup of coffee in the morning. Oh. No. I don't I like Ah, you don't like? I drink, drink milk in the morning. Milk. You drink milk? Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay. Questions about this? Words? And what about plantains? You didn't mention plantains. Fried plantains, platano? No? For your breakfast? Teacher, este, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Eh, eh, para el inicio, I usually, I usually, o cómo sería ahí para entrar a la, a la oración? Yes, Muy you bien. can use usually, okay, or así como, como aparecía en el ejemplo, como directo. Okay, what do you have for breakfast? I have, podemos usar, I have, I have eggs, beans, bacon, and a cup of coffee, for example. Okay, I have. También I have, podemos utilizar hoy, or I usually have, da, 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 and, exp and explain. 
Igual para la bebida, eh, I had drink. Yes, I, no, I, I drink, I, I drink. drink a cup of coffee, or okay. I drink a cup of green tea. Um, I drink a glass of water, I don't know. Okay. I think I'm okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have. Oh, I have. Podría repetir como se dice plátano frito. Fry plantain. Plantain. Thank you. Okay. Very important, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then we have another conversation. Esta ya la practicamos, right? Let's... Uh, ya practicamos esto, ¿no? Yes. Yes, okay. Let me check the questions. No question. No question. Okay, give me... One sentence with countable and one sentence with non-countable things or a food specifically. Ejemplo de oraciones. Utilizando countable y otra utilizando non contable I ate an ice cream Okay I Okay yes try to use present tratemos de usar simple present okay Who else not examples No. Okay. She dream. Yes. Yes. Tell me. She drinks a cup of coffee. Okay. She drinks a cup of coffee every morning, for example. Okay, don't forget the, um, eh, como el marcador. Okay. Okay. Ana Mercedes. Um... I drink a cup of coffee. Ya dijeron otra. And eat a, mm -hmm. I eat a, a, let me see. I have, también podemos usar. I have pancakes for breakfast. Or I have some pancakes. For breakfast. Or I have two pancakes for breakfast. Okay. Claribel is in here. I'm going to double check the attendance. Claribel. Daniel. Daniel Oswaldo. Dora Stephanie. Eloisa. I know. Present. Gloria. Yes. Gloria. Gloria Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. um, Jonathan. 
Lourdes, Mario, and Martin. Present. Yes. Y los demás, absent. Or permission. I don't know. Okay. Try to practice and we will see you tomorrow. Okay, practice countable and non-countable. Porque no todos me dijeron sus oraciones. Okay. So see you tomorrow, good people. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night teacher. Bye-bye. Good rest.